Secretary Blinken, thank you very much for helping us, uh, the 10 of us who went over to Israel and Egypt and, and Saudi Arabia. Uh, just to kind of tighten things up a little bit, from an Israeli point of view, there will be no ceasefire until Hamas ceases to be a threat to the state of Israel. Do you agree with that statement? I do. Okay. So no ceasefire until Hamas ceases to be a threat. Makes perfect sense to me. Um, do you believe it's the goal of Hamas to destroy Israel, not to have a two-state solution? Uh, don't have to take my word for it. Take Hamas's word for it. It's in I their chart. I couldn't agree with you. You agree with that, General Austin? I do. They have said so. All right. So we're fighting somebody who's not trying to help the Palestinians. They're trying to kill all the Jews. Would it be fair to say that Hamas is a modern-day version of religious Nazis? I think there are different ways to qualify it. I would simply say that what well, is we've that seen a, in recent, is that a good well, characterization? Recent, I think the best recent analogy, Senator, yeah. is ISIS. Is that okay with you for me to call them religious Nazis? I, I agree with Secretary Blinken. Uh, yeah. There's a direct parallel to ISIS. As a matter of fact, yeah. I think Okay, yeah, steps. well, that's right. ISIS, Nazis is all bad. Uh, we all agree with that. <clears throat> do you agree without Iran's help, Hamas could not do this? In short, yes. Uh, yeah. There's no doubt that Hamas wouldn't be Hamas. As a matter of fact, General Alston, some estimates are that 93% of all the money Hamas receives comes from Iran. Is that correct? I don't know the exact percentage, but I would say the vast majority uh, does come from... Well, all the reports I've seen from the administration is 90%. So Hamas is ISIS, Nazis, whatever you want to call them. Um, they, they want to kill all the Jews. So if I were Jewish, I'd want to stop them. Uh, <clears throat> they're being supported by Iran. Uh, our troops in Syria and Iraq, they're there to protect against the rise of ISIS. Is that true, General Austin? That's right. They're I mean, they're just ISIS. not hanging out, no other place to go. They're there because it's in our national security interest that ISIS not come back. You agree with that? That's correct, sir. Okay. Is it a red line <clears throat> for Iran to orchestrate an attack on our forces that kills an American in Syria or Iraq? Is that a red line? Can we tell the Iranians today, in case they're watching, if an American is killed by your proxies in Syria and Iraq, we're coming for you. Can you say that? I think Iran should be held accountable for the activities of, uh, of these Iranians. Okay, hey, does that mean that we would consider going to the source of the problem, the great Satan is Iran, not Israel, it's not the United States? Can we say publicly to the families who have service members over in Iraq and Syria that we will hit Iran if they try to kill an American through their proxies. Can we say that? What we have said and what we'll continue to say, uh, Senator, is that we're going to hold... Uh, uh, well, I wish you would be more clear because I'll tell you this. If one of these soldiers is killed... I'm going to say it, and I hope other people will join me. Uh, if there's an attack by Hezbollah in the north, General Austin, that would put the state of Israel at threat, would that be an escalation of the war? It would be an escalation, and, and Israel would be forced to fight on two fronts. And I agree with that. And they have over 100,000 precision-guided rockets and missiles pointed at Israel. Is that correct? That's correct. Is it also correct that Iran is the biggest benefactor of uh, Hezbollah? That is absolutely correct. Can we say to Iran, the Ayatollah, who is a religious Nazi, that if you escalate the second front, if you activate Hezbollah against the state of Israel to create a second front, we will come after you? Can we say that? Is that a red line? Whether or not we uh, we attack uh, Iran because of a uh, decision uh, on a part of uh, Lebanese Hezbollah, that, of course, that's a well, presidential decision I, and also I, uh, uh, will require congressional I, I'm running out of time. I'm going to say it if it happens. I hope it doesn't. Finally, do you agree with me, Secretary Blinken, that one of the main reasons this attack occurred is Iran wants to stop the reconciliation between Saudi Arabia and Israel? 
Uh, yes, those who are opposed to normalization are Hamas, Hezbollah, and Iran. So I just want to end it with this. I will do everything I can as a Republican to help the Biden administration to achieve reconciliation between Saudi Arabia and Israel with the understanding we're going to help the Palestinian people post Hamas. That is the only way this ends. So I, con I congratulate you. I urge you to continue to drive toward peace between Saudi Arabia and Israel. Do not let Iran win by getting us off track. And General Austin, J Austin, I admire you very much. But we need to be clear, crystal clear, as to what happens if Iran kills an American soldier or they open up a second front. And I hope you will let them know what our red lines are. Thank you.